Hey, chiropractors, welcome to Modern Chiropractic Mastery with your host, Dr. Kevin Christie, where we discuss the latest in marketing, business, and professional growth with some of the leading experts in the industry. Welcome to another episode of Modern Chiropractic Mastery. Uh, today's solo episode, we're going to dive into a topic that uh, honestly I've been seeing a lot of, and it's a, a really common thing, and it's not just for chiropractors, but um, ceiling of complexity. And uh, first learned this from Strategic Coach. It is a Strategic Coach concept that they talk a lot about. And, you know, I know I reference Strategic Coach a lot. I actually just got back from my quarterly meeting. I get so much out of it. And, you know, I, I think I can bridge the gap uh, from what we learn to, to chiropractic. And, and honestly, one of my goals would be is for you as chiropractors to be able to hit a certain level of, of income to be able to join a strategic coach. They do have a uh, considerable financial requirement of, of personal income to, to get there. And so I get chiropractors ask me, like, should I do strategic coach? And I would love for all chiropractors to do it. I think a couple things, obviously, one, you got to be able to, I think their minimum now is 250000 in, in personal gross income. Um, and so that would be one thing, obviously. But then two would, you know, maybe if you're looking to do more than just one private practice, I think if you're looking to scale multiple offices or uh, you've got, you got some other entrepreneurial endeavor that you're trying to tackle, it'd be great for that. Uh, ideally, um, you know, Dan Sullivan actually talks about uh, you know, there's there's a fair amount of healthcare providers in strategic coach, and and he asked the question: Are you an entrepreneur that happens to practice healthcare, uh, or are you just you know are you a doctor? And no right or wrong answer, but um, you know, healthcare can be very bureaucratic in, in a lot of ways, and uh, doesn't necessarily lend itself to entrepreneurship if you're not careful. And so he makes that distinction. And so if you feel like you have that entrepreneurial spirit. And you kind of fit into those couple things. I think it's great for you, right? I know it's been uh, instrumental for me over the last nine years, and I like to take a lot of the concepts that I learn and try to apply it for you in in private practice uh, and, and be that bridge for you. And so, you know, the ceiling of complexity. I've been talking to a lot of chiropractors uh, over the last few years, and then over the last uh, couple months in particular, because you know we opened up. MCM Mastery to get to 45 members, which we actually did, uh, which is cool. Um, for the, we needed to kind of cap it there for the rest of 2022, and you know once 2023 starts, we'll be taking more clients on. But we had quite a, a um, uh, an onboarding of these new members, which has been awesome. And so I've been doing my kind of console calls with prospective members, uh, doing onboarding calls. Obviously, we have our group calls. And a lot of chiropractors are hitting this ceiling of complexity. And you, you know, you can hit it at different stages of your career. And so let me first just define it as strategic coach defines it, because you've probably heard me throw the, the term out there before. But uh, the way they talk about it is all the growth in a person's life occurs in stages. Within each stage, the individual comes to a point where it is not possible to base further growth upon their existing knowledge and skills. The individual has reached a ceiling of complexity. Sometimes this ceiling is permanent, which is why many people fail to grow beyond a particular stage of development. And I just want to focus on that for a second because, you know, I again, talk to a lot of chiropractors and they'll be hitting their head against the wall for years. Um, and it's not just something that, is a uh, recent thing. And so that, you know, again, quote, sometimes this ceiling is permanent, which is why many people fail to grow beyond a particular stage of development. And, you know, uh, we don't want that. It means you've kind of hit a, a, a ceiling of complexity that you can't break through and get to that next level of growth. And so, you know, that's why you'll see some chiropractors that are, let's just say, 40 years old that are at a, a, a you know, massive practice and some are still spinning their wheels and you know there's no right or wrong or anything but it just can be the ceiling complexity and it can be very frustrating right uh, all right so to, to continue with what how strategic coach defines it is 
you know, within each stage, we gain experience by solving problems and transacting business. However, this experience has a price. Each solved problem, every transaction adds complexity to our lives. At a certain point, the growth of complexity prevents any further growth of capability, performance, or achievement. And they go on for a little bit on more information on it, but those are the key things to where, you know, the, that complexity can hit you in year one, right? Or it can hit you in year 25. It doesn't matter. It could be different levels. Right? You, could, you could have the, the doctor that's in year one that doesn't know how to get, you know, maybe out of a bad situation and open up their own practice or they've opened up their own practice, but they're, they're not getting to where they want to, right? Or you could have year 25 chiropractor that um, doesn't see a, a way of hiring an associate to take some of the burden and, and, and work off their shoulders, right? And get to that next level. It could be year five where it's like, you know, my practice is actually pretty good, but I want to get to that next level. It could be year 10 where you've got a thriving practice, but it requires uh, too much out of you. And uh, you know, you can't seem to get past to that next level where it's at. And those are typically those ceilings of complexity. And it can be, it can be tricky when you're in the middle of it, right? Like when you're in it, it, it can be hard to see what the problem is, right? And that's where I think uh, what's been cool about my experience, uh, whether it's 17, 18 years of practice, uh, 12 years of owning my own practice, uh, six years of modern chiropractic marketing and the podcasts and interviews and coaching now and all the different things that I've had the uh, opportunity to, to get a full grasp of spectrum of chiropractic profession um, is I, I think I've become good at kind of really pinpointing what that big domino is to get to the next side of that ceiling of complexity, right? And so you got to ask yourself a few questions if you're if you're stagnant, again, stagnation could be, you know, your practice is awesome, but you want to get to that next level of awesome. Or it can be just like, you know, you're not meeting your, uh, your payroll and you got to, you got to figure this shit out quickly. Right. And so ask yourself, you know, it's like, what, what's the, the block to getting to that next level? Is it, you know, is it your profit margins? Is that a problem? Is it your notes, right? Like you're so overwhelmed with notes that subconsciously you don't want to see any more people because you, you fall by my notes as it is. And that, that, that's a silent killer. I've seen that quite a few times. Um, do you need to hire a team member? You know, uh, sometimes you can be in a weird spot. Like in my private practice right now, I would say we're half a team member short. <laughs> and so it's like, do I uh, keep on going half a person short uh, or do I hire ahead of it and where it's like, okay, I don't really need a full-time person. Um, can I fire, can I find a half, uh, a part-time person or do I hire a full-time person and try to grow? Like, like a lot of times that'll open up and, and then within six months, it's like, okay, I'm glad I hired that full-time person because now we needed it because it created a vacuum to, of growth to get there. Right. Um, is it lack of marketing in your practice? You either don't know what to do or how to do it or, you don't have the time to do it, right? That can be a big issue. Um, is it lack of office space? Sometimes that's a, a big issue. You don't have the office space to grow. and you and But you look at it, how daunting that could be. It's like, oh, I got, you know, two years left on this lease, but I know it's not big enough, but I don't know how to get to another spot or do I rent or do I buy? There's a lot of things that go into that. Um, you know, it's like, can you are you getting enough reactivations in your practice? That could be something that could help out with growth, but you're not, you don't know how to get that going. Like there's a lot of different things um, that you need to kind of figure out what's happening to, you know, why you're not growing. Um, how are your energy levels in practice? Like, are you getting in the way? Uh, you know, are you showing up uh, to that patient, every patient visit present listening and on point with them? Or is it a struggle to, to really, um, have that interaction for 15 minutes day in and day out. Right. So you got to look at those things. Uh, a lot of times it could be systems in your practice, right? You may be doing too many of the $20 an hour tasks and not enough of the $250 an hour tasks. Uh, could be your own mindset, right? Like you, you, you're not really, um, 
engaged in what growth looks like for you. There's a lot of different factors in it, um, but really pinpointing what that uh, big domino is, is is always fun and, and developing a plan to, to kind of reverse engineer it. All right, Docs, here is a new opportunity for you from Darcy Sullivan of Propel. She is our SEO specialist in helping out many chiropractors uh, with their search engine optimization and making sure Google is finding you and getting you new patients. It's amazing how many new patients chiropractors can get and are getting when they do uh, the SEO right and a few other things. And Darcy is offering a free SEO workshop just for chiropractors, and you can sign up for that at bit.ly bit.ly slash propel mcm that is bit.ly bit.ly propel mcm modern chiropractic marketing right and so check out that link and we're going to have you go over five seo secrets to owning the first page of google uh, without buying ads and darcy's going to give that free workshop one hour to really help grow your practice and start churning new patients from the ever mighty Google, which is still king in the online marketing. So check that out at bit.ly slash propel MCM for the one hour free workshop. I've been sitting on this topic a little bit because I wanted to wait towards the end of the year um, because I always, you know, I just love yearly planning, you know, and 2023 is coming up and it's just so much fun to, uh, plan out things, right? And so for me, and I mentioned a couple of times before, I do a three-year vision planner. We do that with our members. And then I I do a yearly plan at the end of the year. Uh, I'm at the very end of my last three-year plan. So let's say it was December of 2019. I started doing the planning. I turned 40 in January of 2020. Uh, I was doing a three-year plan to start out the decade, start out my 40s. I was, you know, drew up a really nice three-year vision plan. Uh, got punched in the face by March 2020, like we all did. Uh, but looking back on it, I reviewed my three-year vision planner um, from age 40 to rolling. I turned 43 or coming up in January in a, in a month. And I, I accomplished it. Uh, it looked a little bit different, um, but overall, my three years were a lot better. And so I'm rounding out my my last one. So I'm sitting down now and doing my next three years and my my 2023. And, and some of this was being really honest with myself in the practice and looking at ways that we could break through to the next level. Right. And, you know, we had a great 2022 in private practice. I exited patient care. Um, you know, we've got a new doctor on who's just doing great. And we, we did a lot of things right. And we're setting ourselves up perfectly. So we don't need to do a lot of transformational things. But there's a few things, and we have our team meeting actually coming up in a week, uh, our, our yearly planning session, that we're going to really tackle a few things that are um, not so sexy, and then sometimes they are, but uh, we're going to uh, really get clear on some messaging for our marketing for the practice. And one of those um, is actually, you know, there's a we were talking about it in uh, our strategic coach because they had this whole longevity uh, program now. But and I listen to Peter Atia and he's big into uh, human longevity, and so is Peter Diamandis. And I listen to their stuff, and it's basically life's you know health span. Like how can we live longer uh, and be healthy? So it's not about necessarily living to a hundred, but being unhealthy. It's like how can we live to a hundred and be healthy? And a lot of great science is coming around that. But one of the things I started to realize was like, you know, we play a big role in that as chiropractors in, and a lot of that is going to be in, let's think about messaging around musculoskeletal health and longevity. And at least that's what we're looking at in our practice is getting very clear on this message of like, we help you have a longer health span musculoskeletally. We're going to get better with the terminology. We haven't sat down and started working through the copy of it, like the written copy and how we're going to do it. But, you know, in at least here in South Florida, we have a lot of people that want to play golf, tennis, pickleball, work out, do yoga. They want to do that into their 70s and their 80s. And so we play a big role in that longevity of musculoskeletal health. And so we're going to do a, a kind of a consistent campaign around that wording. And so that's something that we're looking at to help break through that ceiling of complexity for us. Uh, another thing is, is, um, is community outreach. We're going to tackle that and, and get very targeted with what we want to accomplish with it. 
because we, you know, we're on the precipice of, of taking the next level uh, in our practice from a revenue per month standpoint. But I think our complexity has been is getting a little more clear on the marketing and we do a good job of marketing and obviously we practice what we preach, but we're going to try to take it to that next level. And as I do those things for my private practice, the cool thing is I, I kind of use my practice as a test lab sometimes and then convey to you things that are working and, and maybe not working. So I'll be able to tease this out a little bit better and on subsequent podcasts and obviously in our, our coaching, uh, we'll be getting clear on that. But you know, one of the things we did to this point on messaging was, and I've talked about it on the podcast before, was we developed, you know, an approach, the health fit approach, which is our system of care. And it's not like we invent anything. We just package it nicely, worded it well, present it to our patients. And so they know they come to our practice, they're getting this. And it helps with our report of findings, helps with our treatment plan advice. We use a lot of the evidence-based uh, guidelines for care that Jay Greenstein talks a lot about. Like we really got clear on that messaging and it's been very helpful. And so now we're taking another level and in, in, in thinking about that musculoskeletal health longevity and some of the things that we can do around that. And so that's just an example of kind of breaking through maybe a marketing ceiling of complexity, which I think we had a little bit going on in our, in our private practice. Uh, we've cleared out a lot of the other hurdles, which is cool. And so we have the room for growth, uh, you know, but I mentioned our practice is about a half a human being short. So that's a ceiling of complexity that I'm working to figuring out. Um, so th those are the things you got to start asking yourself in your practice. And, you know, what role are you playing in that? Right. What role are you um, the bottleneck in your business? What are some of the thoughts you have that aren't serving you? Uh, what are some of your blind spots that you need someone uh, to take a outside in look at your practice and, and your you know, business to see what would be the path to get you on and actually stay on that path and, and, and then achieve those things. And that's something I think we're doing a great job at MCM Mastery now, uh, obviously the coaching side of it, but also we're doing the marketing for you. And that's been great. Uh, and, and, and I'll kind of just uh, finish this off a little bit with you know, if you're not ready to take that particular leap, uh, the Chiropractic Success Academy, we're still rolling strong. We're four and a half years into this thing and it keeps on getting better. And uh, we've got the whole success path there. It's $99 a month. It's, you know, and it's month to month. It's not a, uh, you know, risky investment. And this is a great time of year to join it because you can dive in, you know, you get the dashboard now, you can dive into marketing planning as well. It's a lot more of you have to hold yourself accountable. And so if you, if you know that that's part of your ceiling of complexity, because you have a hard time holding yourself accountable, then maybe you need to jump into MCM Mastery instead of CSA. Check that out. You can go to www.csacircle.com to see more. Uh, it's a great program, a great Facebook group. You've got the digital dashboard. You got the, all the lessons in there monthly blogs, and, and, and just a great community on the Facebook group as well. So check that out. Um, but I just challenge you, you know, this, this episode is, is in middle of December of 2022, to take a, a, you know, take a couple hours or a half day and really reflect on what could be, you know, causing you not to get to that next level. And again, you may have a very good practice. This episode isn't geared towards those that are just struggling. It's everybody. Like our practice is, is great. If if people looked at our practice like, oh, this is a really great practice, they wouldn't think that we have ceilings of complexity, but we do. And I have people around me to help me get through that. That's why I always have coaches and people that take a look at my business and at myself to make sure that we're um, always improving and getting better. And it's fun that way. And so, um, take a, take a look, like what could be the problem? Uh, you know, if, if you feel like you need, uh, another set of eyes on it, definitely look into CSA, definitely look at MCM mastery. And, uh, we're here to help you out any way we can, but start figuring out ways to develop a strategic plan to get through the ceiling of complexity onto the other side of it. Cause on the other side of it is growth. Um, and, and it's fun, uh, you know, it can be fearful, trying to do it. So I think that's something that blocks people a lot, you know, uh, is really making the uh, commitment and then having the courage to overcome that fear. And once you do that, you get on the other side of complexity and now you've, 
you've hit a whole other level and you get comfortable with it. So, you know, you can push yourself. Like think about now, right? Like if you've been in practice for a while and you graduate, you, if you look back when you graduated chiropractic school, you couldn't imagine how far you've come now. So if you keep on pushing that envelope within reason, you'll, you know, it'll be 10 years from now and you look back, it's like, oh, thank God I did that. And I can't believe the capabilities I have now that I didn't have then. Uh, but I was willing to really challenge myself and invest in that and overcome that ceiling of complexity. Okay. And so just to, you know, review, it could be you need more team members. It could be your mindset. It could be your profit margins. It could be notes. <laughs> it could be lack of marketing. It could be office space. It, it could be uh, a myriad of things, right? And when you take a really good audit of your practice, which we do, you can start to narrow it down and and start to implement the strategies to to overcome that thing of complexity. But I know a lot of you are having it, and it's confusing sometimes. You don't know how to overcome it. Uh, there is a, a, a method. There are strategies to do it. And I just challenge you to make sure that you do whatever it takes to overcome that ceiling of complexity and have a great 2023. All right. I hope that helps. Nice, short and sweet episode. And uh, we're excited to get, get rolling in 2023. We're going to keep a positive mindset on everything. I've talked enough about the in, in you know the pending recession or inflation it's all all necessary conversations but we're moving forward and making sure we're having great conversations on growth and maintaining positivity as we uh, grow in 2023 and uh, you know we'll overcome whatever we need to have a great week talk to you soon I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And if you want to make the shift from busy, broke, and broken to time-free and cash confident, or you just want to continue with the exponential growth, check us out at modernchiropracticmarketing.com. Look at the MCM Mastery tab, watch the short video on there, and check out what we are doing now for evidence-informed chiropractors. We are equal parts coaching and marketing done for you. Yes, you shoot some videos. We help you with campaign strategies and ideas and really become a thought leader in your community. You shoot those videos, you send them to us. We produce, edit, and brand them to you. Then we distribute them through all of your channels. We also take them and we turn it into one good blog per month. And every other month, we have Darcy Sullivan producing a robust blog with a topic that you pick from her database to help with your SEO. So we essentially become your content marketing agency to make sure your practice is always having ethical, elegant content marketing to help grow your practice. On the coaching side, we also help you with everything from marketing ideas to business, communications, finances, anything practice growth and really try to help prevent you from being stuck on that island. And we hold you accountable. We have a great group of doctors that are just doing amazing things. And we look forward to help you out to take that next step in your practice. So again, check us out at modernchiropracticmarketing.com and learn more. Uh-huh.